Mm. Hi. Hey guys. So I just wanted to do a quick video. Um, this won't be a vlog or anything. It'll just be like me talking like this. So this morning I took Isaac to school and then I got home. I took Isaac to school and then I got home. And and I was just like laying in bed on my phone, which is kind of what I usually do. But I was mostly just texting my friend because I was with her last night. And then as soon as I got on my phone, I saw this. And I saw that Anthony Bourdain committed suicide. And um, it just made me really sad because I had just read about Kate Spade the other day and that was really sad. I just think that there's things that we people can do. I, I think that we should really be aware that there are people... Like for me, what scares me the most is somebody could be feeling suicidal and you don't even know it. Or even depressed. Like for people to feel depressed to me is like... I've been depressed one time in my life and it's just horrible like i feel like there's like you could be severely depressed or you could be just like a little bit you know and i was just like in the middle but when you're a mom it's like you feel so selfish for feeling depressed and so well for me you know and oh i'm sure a lot of moms feel that way it takes a lot out of you so I was talking to him and he said that the signs of of suicide are they're just not they just have no care they kind of give up on everything or it's when you can spot someone feeling suicidal is when they when they return something that's yours and I asked him also like what can I do for someone that is not necessarily suicidal, but just depressed. And he also, you know, because I want to know how I can help everybody. And he's like, oh, well, just showing that you care, asking them if they need anything, listening to them, if they need a friend to talk to, be that friend, which is what I try to do. I try to remind everybody how, how much worthy, how worth, I try to remind everybody of their worth as much as I can, like, you know, people that I know. And I also just, I'm just going to talk to you. If you're going through something very hard right now, you're going to get through it. It's okay. I'm here if you need to talk. And if you would like a friend, I can be that friend for you. If you feel like nobody cares about you, or if you feel like there's nobody there for you, I'm here for you. And I care. So please, you have a way to get a hold of me. I always put my my social media down below in the description box. Please don't hurt yourself. Please don't feel like you don't belong here. That was another one he said was when people say... I don't feel like I want to be here anymore or I don't want to be here anymore, you know? Please just just don't don't hurt yourself. There's so much you have to offer. You can you're not nobody and you're not nothing. You are worth something in this world. You were put here for a purpose. You can become great things. You are great things. You're going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. You could go through the worst thing in the whole world. And I promise you, you can get through it. And it's easier said than done, I know. But I can help you get through it. So please don't hurt yourself. Please, if you would like somebody to talk to directly that can help a little more I am gonna link this video I'm gonna put the description we'll have the phone number for the suicide prevention hotline um, if you have 
people putting you down in your life if you have people bullying you if you have somebody just being mean to you or if there's a person that you can think of that is hurting you or just plain putting you down let's get out of that let's get away from that person because you deserve it you deserve happiness you deserve all the happiness in the world and I can help you I can try I can we can do something we can we can change this it doesn't have to be this way it doesn't have to be this way it can it can be changed it it won't always be like this this is just temporary this the feeling that you have is just temporary and I promise you it will be okay you need to just keep your head up and you need to get a hold of me and I'm your friend you don't have no friends I am your friend okay so and I do truly truly please believe me I do care and I want to help and I've been told I'm a good listener and I will listen to you anything that's going on I will I have three kids and I will find time to listen to you. If nobody else can do that, don't worry. I will do that. So, please. And if you're a person putting somebody down out there and you're watching this video or if, if you're just, if you don't have anything nice to say, just don't say it. Wake up. Look at what's happening. Look at how common this is becoming. And just please, if you really can't handle being nice to people or... You know, if you can't handle being nice, then just don't talk and just, until you can be respectful, just stay in your lane and just do your thing, but with it being nice to people. Because no, we don't need people putting each other down. We need the opposite. So let's work towards peace and be happy and let's just come together and help each other and if you know somebody that is going through anything hard right now be that friend because you know what it's like to go through something hard and want somebody to be there for you it's really hard to go through things alone so you guys could really help me if you guys also do the same and be a listener and also just put in your 100% to make sure that a person doesn't hurt themselves or feel like that's their only option in this world because everybody deserves to live and everybody deserves to be happy no matter what you only live once make it worth it just you only live once and you deserve to be happy so please I would like to see at least one person message me If you feel like being mean to somebody and you have to get it out, go ahead and message me and you can be mean to me. And I probably won't read it because, or maybe, I don't know, but just don't send it to anybody else because if you absolutely just, if you truly just need to get something out and you need to be mean, Go ahead and just write me the longest message that you would like to write towards any person that you feel this way about and you can leave it there. Just write it and leave it there and I'm not going to take it personal because I know I didn't do anything to you but as long as you're not writing that to that person and making them feel bad, I will take that for them. So, and it's okay, you won't hurt my feelings <laughs> because... You're just not going to. It's not going to work. So, sorry to break it to you. But you're not going to hurt my feelings. And I think I'm able to understand that I asked you to do it. And kind of just draw that line. Like, okay, they're just listening to me. So, if you absolutely have to get something out, go ahead. And eventually, maybe I'll leave something somewhere. It's kind of like a punching bag. I think that's what people do, why people do those things is that it's like a punching bag, like punching of a, a punching bag feels good, right? So if you have, if that's what you need to do, 
then I suggest just writing it down and then throwing it away. That's what I suggest. But these days, social media and all that is, it's just different these days. So, I mean, you could obviously, that's what a lot of people do. Like, I was on Instagram and someone, Kim Kardashian's picture popped up. And this person wrote on there, you're so trashy, you look so stupid, you're what's wrong with this world. And I was like, I know it's Kim Kardashian, and I like Kim Kardashian, like, you know, I don't look up to her the way a lot of girls do, but um, I like her, you know, I like the way she dresses and all that. And I, And this person that wrote that had like, random letters for their username no picture and i wrote to that person i commented i replied to that person and i was like your username has random letters you have no picture did you really have to go post a mean comment like you're obviously hiding because you can't put your real name or your real picture you're obviously hiding i was like be nice I can't remember exactly what I said, and it was just funny that it was over Kim Kardashian's photo. It wasn't necessarily to defend her because of all the hate, she has more love than hate. Guys, I'm doing a video. Go over there, please. She has more love than hate. Love always wins. But if it was anybody, I would have done that. You know what I mean? Love always wins. Love will always when I don't know if that makes sense we're gonna get it we're gonna get it guys we're gonna get people to agree that it's funner to be nice than it is to be mean and the people that are mean out there just need help and they just also need someone to be there for them it all comes down to really that I think it's just it's scary to feel alone in my opinion, it's the one of the most scariest things is to feel alone. And when you're not alone or know you're not alone, then it shouldn't be a problem. It should, I mean, I'm not one to talk, but let's just get this. Let's just, let's get over this hard, large stump in this world. Hope you guys have a good day. I want one of you guys to message me. I'm hoping it's not, I don't know. Message me whatever you need to message me. But as long as it helps you, I'm okay with it. My kids are gonna go crazy. Whatever it is, I'm okay with it as long as it makes you feel better. Okay, I hope you guys have an amazing day and you're worth it. Don't forget that. Bye, I'll talk to you guys soon.